It's 1979 all over again for an independent film crew on Long Island. The movie is called The Last B-Boy 1979, The Roosevelt Roller Rink. It's a fictional feature set in the skating venue, a hot spot during the early days of hip hop. The writer and director is Andre Guilty, a former rapper who grew up in the neighborhood. People don't understand it was kids who started hip hop. They weren't adults, it wasn't corporate, it wasn't colonized. It was children just creating stuff for them to have a good time. The film was shot partly at the Roosevelt Youth Center and here in Seaford at the United States of America. Actors were cast from all over Long Island and New York City. What part are you playing in this movie? I will be playing Nene. And who is she? What is, what's her role in the film? Oh, she's the feisty one, the prettiest girl in school. All the guys like her. She just has spunk. One star of the film is Chuck Chillout, a DJ at WBLS who helped put hip hop on the map. Well, well, it was hard to get in them skate rinks. You know, I didn't, I didn't, you had to have a name back then. You know, so the, you talking 1980, <laughs> 80, 81, you know, you had to have a name to get in them, to get in a real big skate rink back then, you had to have a name. Using break dancers, skate dancers, and even karate experts, Guilty says his movie strives to be authentic and historically accurate. So we try to show them that these are all of the elements, this is how we dress. This is what, how we talk, we have the slang. Give me some slang, man. Word to the mother, say man. <laughs> Principal photography for The Last B-Boy 1979, The Roosevelt Roller Rink, wrapped up at the end of March. The release date has yet to be announced. For Newsday TV, I'm Rafer Guzman.